Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. <laughs> Today we're going to be sharing with you all of the baby things that we've bought from Amazon that we have used or continue to use now. Because these are our Amazon finds, we haven't included everything that we've ever bought. We have done a top five newborn items, which was one of our first videos. And if anyone is interested in us doing it and everything that you need for a newborn video, let me know in the comments or over at Instagram and I'll put that together as I haven't actually put any of Baby Bell's stuff away yet. This is quite a big list. Some of it is here in front of me and some of it I'd include video clips and photos so that you can see it all in action. I'll pop links to everything in the description so that you can find it easily and I'll also put a link to a free trial for Amazon Prime so if you don't use that you can have a go and get the majority of this delivered for free. Got your list? Baby Bell's got her list so she can keep up to date with everything that we're going through. First of all, we've got the Chico next to me. You can see it here behind us. Uh, that is probably my top item uh, out of everything that we've bought. It makes life so much easier. We talked about it in quite a lot of detail in our newborn items video. Uh, here it is in action. This has just made my life easy. It means I don't have to get out of bed in the middle of the night. I can soothe her easily. Just put her out for a feed, put her back in. And obviously when she goes to bed at night, uh, she still feeds to sleep. So we can just sort of slide her across in there and hope that she doesn't wake up. Next up are cellular blankets. So these are these ones with the holes in them. Oh, who won that? When Baby Bell was first born, she was too small for the sleeping bags that we had. I think most of them start at around about eight pounds. So we bought these cellular blankets uh, because they've got the holes in them. Then if they do somehow manage to kick them over their faces, they don't suffocate. Then we have muslins. We use muslins for everything, even now. We use them to clean up any spillages, any sick, any escaped boob milk. So these are another item that we definitely wouldn't be without. Next is our night light. This one has multiple different colours on it. If you look there, you can probably see. And what we found after doing a bit of research is that Red lights are supposed to be the most soothing and the most conducive to sleep. So we do have the red light on. Let me just go through those options there. So you can see there, looks kind of pink in this light, but at night time, it's nice and red and soothing. I'm not sure that it actually helps with sleep, but we have that on anyway. This one is just a charge, rechargeable one with the standard little thing there. Have you finished with the list? Storage tubs, basic plastic storage tubs that we use to keep muslins in. Um, if we've got one on the side of our changing station with all nappies and nappy sacks in. We've also got them in the little shelving unit above the changing station to keep everything in as well so it's all just neat, all just nice and neat and out of the way. Thermal flask is another thing. When Baby Bell was first born, we didn't use wipes or anything. We just used cotton wool and warm water. So the recommendation is that it's called boiled water. So what we would do is boil the kettle um, for overnight, let it cool down a bit, put it into the flask, and then we had nice warm water for those middle of the night nappy changes that we needed to do without having to boil the kettle and you know wait for it to cool down and that sort of thing so that was really really handy and I don't know where that is so I'll just put a picture of uh, the one that we had here so that you can see it oh you don't want your list anymore throwing it on the floor 
We also have the nappy caddy. We don't use this now, but when she was younger, up until she was about three months old, we had this attached to the travel cot that she slept in downstairs. Uh, now there's absolutely no chance of getting her to sleep into the travel cot. So we've packed that away and the nappy caddy is now kind of irrelevant because we just do all of her nappy changes upstairs on her changing mat. But that nappy caddy was really useful in the beginning just because there were about 12 nappy changes a day maybe even more so rather than having to keep coming upstairs every hour and a half if we were downstairs we could use that and it had enough pockets in it so that we could keep everything that we needed downstairs hooded baby towels are the next item on the list these are just the plain ones we have got some other snuggly ones but this is just a plain one with a hood so that when they get out of the bath just wrap them up oh there we go don't you look cute <laughs> baby hangers were another essential baby bell had loads of clothes she still does now um so these were just really useful for putting in the wardrobe they were the right size for all her little clothes so can i have the baby care set you want those next is the baby care set so this has got inside if you can see it's got a toothbrush a thermometer a nasal aspirator some nail files some nail files nail clippers nail scissors a comb and a hairbrush so all that's there in a nice handy little thing Next up is the travel system. So we've got the Ickle Bubba Stomp V4, which came with a carry cot that then transfers into a stroller. Also came with the car seat and the Isofix base as well. So that's really good. Um, I know a few people who have bought their first prams and are having to now buy other strollers because their original ones don't convert into the strollers fully or they're really big and bulky this one we've got because the size of it was uh, small enough to fit into the boot and it also folds down without having to take it all apart which is great And then the carry cot changes to a stroller and you can have them facing you and then as they get older you can then have it facing outwards so i'm hoping that this one lasts us for quite a long time next is our baby carrier this isn't really a good way of showing it off because I'm not really sure what's going on there i think that's upside down yeah so it goes up that way uh, what I'll do is I'll put some photos in here. Uh, there's not really very many photos of me and Baby Bell with this because I find it quite uncomfortable to carry her just because I'm still struggling with a few issues from pregnancy and labour. But John does use this quite often and Baby Bell does enjoy it. Oh my God. Baby Bell does enjoy being in this, snuggled up to daddy and having a look around especially now that she can forward face. Next up on the list is the breast pump. This is the Bella Baby double electric pump. Um, this was a lifesaver for me when we got home from the hospital and we couldn't get Baby Bell to latch. If you weren't aware, we actually pumped for 10 weeks nearly before she did finally latch and now she's fully breastfed but this was amazing this meant that i could uh, pump every two or three hours and just feed her express milk we didn't have to then rely on any formula or anything it was just this and um, this is such a good bargain as well i think it's only about 40 pound and it is a really really good pump i didn't have anything bad to say about this it's a little bit noisy but that was you know something that we just dealt with um, and then obviously to go with that are the milk storage bags these are the original ones that came with it these are ones that i purchased from amazon once i'd used the other ones up and then the pump itself so that's the motor for it and then the 
Oh, we switched it on. Oh, I haven't heard that noise in a while. And then for the pump and the bottles that just screw onto it like that. And then these bits just plug in each end and go into the motor. There. Next item on the list which goes with the pump is the self sterilising ram bottles. So we've got them in two colours, we've got one in pink and then Baby Bell's got one here in white. Not that she will actually take a bottle anymore but these were really handy because they are self sterilising so they come apart completely. You can just take the whole thing apart and then they sterilise in the microwave with a bit of water in them. So that just made everything a lot quicker. There wasn't any messing about with putting it in sterilisers or anything like that, just in the microwave for a couple of minutes each, and then they were done. And that's the white one there, and they also do them in blue as well. Nipple cream, that's the next item. Turn it around that way. Lansano nipple cream. Uh, this obviously, when we first started our feeding journey with the pump, and then again when she did finally latch, was very useful because you do get sore nipples. It also comes in handy now as a barrier to the dribble around her mouth because she seems to be never ending teething but with no teeth coming through, there is a lot of dribble. This is obviously safe for them to consume so it can go around her mouth. And if she does lick any of it off, it's not going to hurt her. Nursing bras are the next item. And I did get those from Amazon and they are really comfortable. I talked about them a bit more in our breastfeeding video. Um, I don't have any here in front of me. I am, I am wearing one um, that has the little clips here. But they are really comfortable, they come in a pack of three and of course I'll link them down below and I'll see if I can get some pictures as well just to put up here so you can see them. Breast pads are another one, I have some reusable ones which are great and I also have disposable ones which are a little bit more discreet and you can't see them when I'm out or when I'm filming as well. Uh, I've tried a few of them, my favourite ones are the Lansano ones, they have two sticky bits on them. I don't have any of them left so I can't show you them but again we did talk about them in the breastfeeding essentials video and I'll link that down below as well so that you can have a look if that's something that you're interested in. Do you want that? The next thing is an extra long phone charger. This one is really long and I can never remember how long it is but it's plugged in all the way there behind me and then it reaches here. Um, if you are feeding for ages or if you are nap trapped or anything like that, having an extra long phone charger is great because then you can charge your phone up and you can just sit there and scroll through Instagram or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, it's also good for if you're in hospital as well because the plug sockets seem to be in really weird places when you're in the labour ward and then in the recovery ward afterwards. So having an extra long phone charger really helped. To the bottle. Next up is cow pulp. We've been fortunate enough that we haven't had to use this for any uh, illnesses or anything so far, but we do use this when her teeth are obviously playing her up, when her face goes bright red and she's chomping on everything and rubbing her ear. We know that it's time to get the cow pulp out. We do use the Ashton and Parsons teething powders as well. And again, we talked about all of these things in a bit more detail in our teething at four months video, uh, but these are amazing. And what we do with these is we put them onto the newbie shark. So the newbie shark has got little bristles and we put the powder onto the shark and then we can feed or give that to baby bell and then she can massage it into her gums. The newbie shark is another one that we got from Amazon and it is 
probably our favourite teething toy these days. Next up is Sophie. Sophie was Baby Belle's favourite for a while. She's not as into Sophie these days, but she does still get some use and she's good for keeping her occupied in the car. Do you want Sophie? And then continuing on with the teething theme is the newbie teething mitt, which just straps onto their hands so that they can't fling it on the floor. Uh, we found this really useful when she was a bit younger, when she didn't have that hands to mouth coordination, she couldn't actually get the teething toys into her mouth. She was happily chewing away on her hand and this just sort of provided a bit of protection and gave her something to chew on. It's also crinkly. So that's another item, especially in the early days of the teeth starting to appear that we really did recommend. Next on the list is the newbie sit me up seat. We don't have that here because Baby Bell doesn't need to use that anymore. As you can see, she's sitting up on her own with no assistance whatsoever. But the sit me up seat was great when she first started to learn to sit up. She obviously couldn't sit up for very long, but that was what she wanted to do. So we would pop her in her sit me up seat and she'd happily sit there with us. Then we have our play mat and we have included that in quite a few videos. It's something that can be used from birth up until she's a toddler because it goes from a play mat to a ball pit. We haven't used it as a ball pit yet, but she does now sit in it and just play with all of the toys. Whereas before she was laying in it and playing with all the toys. That one uh, we have been using now every day for probably since she was about a month old. So it's got a good six months of use out of it now. So that is definitely one that I recommend investing in. Then we have the water mat. This has been fantastic for tummy time. Like a lot of babies, Baby Bell did not like doing tummy time. So having the water mat was great because it provided a sort of cushioned surface for her to rest on and then the fish were all bright and she could touch them and poke them about and play with it and it just kept her on her tummy for a bit longer. Then we've got this disco light. So this is just a cheap disco light that we picked up that plays loads of different colours and we put that on with the foil blanket that she got in one of her baby sensory boxes and she just she's just there feeling the foil blanket, listening to the noises and watching the lights go around. She really enjoys that. Sometimes we put bubbles on as well and she has so much fun with that. Then we move on to the more recent things that we've bought. So she started weaning uh, just over a month ago now. And obviously we had to buy a few things for that. So the first thing that we got was the Easy Mat Mini in the unicorn patterns. So we got this in a set with a bowl and some spoons. Uh, we haven't used the bowl and spoons yet, but we do use the mat for every meal time. It's got really strong suction things on the back so there's no way that she can pull this off of her high chair and chuck it on the floor so it's just the food that goes on the floor at the moment. Then we've got the bibs that Baby Bell is actually playing with at the moment. So these are just little coverall bibs that, pro that protect her clothes and some of the high chair from getting covered in all of the food. Yeah, you can have it back. They came in a pack of three, so while one's drying, we can be using <coughs> another one. Oh, bless you. <coughs> oh. And they are very easy to wipe off and wash all of the food off. We also got her a cup for water for while she's weaning as well. Um, and I don't know where that is. 
it may be in the dishwasher i'm not sure but i'll see if i can find a photo or a video of her using it and i'll pop <coughs> oh bless you and i'll put that in with this as well and the last item on our list is the play pen that we got her so now that she's starting to move around a little bit we Ooh. yeah we needed something that was big enough for her to play in but to stop her from crawling around all over the place and we also you can't eat that one i'm afraid have that and we also needed something for the garden as well because our garden is built on four separate levels so i don't really want her crawling off of the edge of the garden so we've got the playpen and she seems to enjoy that that's great So those are all of our Amazon items that we've got that are baby related that we've used, most of them probably daily, some of them more than once a day. As I said, I'll make sure that I link everything in the description so that you can find them and that free trial for Amazon Prime will be down there as well. As usual, we really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe it really makes us happy and it lets youtube know that the video is worth showing to other people so that they can watch it too we'll see you next time say bye, bye. we'll see you next time